Hello all, in today's video I want to share some more books that I already had in my collection that I've been collecting over the last couple years. They're all space theme related because in the month of January we're going to be doing a space unit. We're also going to take a look at that Wild Republic space tube that I got from Amazon and I also will include an activity idea I have and there will be printables available in the description just some printables that are kind of space related. So these first two books are just for fun. This one came from Dollarama. It was $4. It is a Star Wars book, but the pages are really cool. When you turn them, they look like they're moving. So it's just something fun for Nate to look at. And then this one is Otter Space Knows Numbers. So it just counts down to like 10 and uh, two astronauts for a satellite. So yeah, it's just a super cute little book. And Nate can look at that one. I'm reading another book. And then this came from the Looney Bazaar. It was $1.50. It's power for the planet. And there is a few pages that talks about solar power. So we're going to be reading about that. This book I got from Scholastics when I worked at the daycare. So it's just a space book. But it's got images and it's good for Nate to look at. Just a few words on each page. But realistic pictures. This one came from the Brands Gone Wild store. It was only a dollar and it's Earth and Moon. And again, realistic pictures and there's lots of information here. So it's a great little read. This I also got at Scholastics and this is um, Meet Chris Hadfield. So this is all about a Canadian astronaut and it's kind of cartoonish but. Um, Lots of information about his life, so I thought that'd be a good read since we are we do live in Canada. This is another Scholastic Spine, and it's just the planets. This is National Geographic's Kids, packed with information and again realistic images. This is one that I picked up over uh, the summer. It was ten dollars. It's What Is the Moon? So it goes over the moon, but cute little book for Nate to look at. And there are little um, flaps that open up, too, so he can explore those. And this was another one that I got. Uh, both of these, I think, came from Marshers or Winners. This one was $7. And this one's really cool. It's my fold-out book of space. So it folds out like this, the pages. So it's a pretty neat book. And then I got this from Scholastic. So this is National Geographic's Night Sky. Lots of information again. And then this is just a fun little item. This is what Nate's going to be working on. This came from the Dollarama for $1.50. It's a studio little clip art, but it has the starry night scene on it. So I thought that would be cool for this unit study for Nate to have a, a cool little clip art. So I'm just going to open up that tube and we'll see what uh, the figures look like in there. These little figurines are really nice. They're detailed nicely. So these would be perfect for a little sensory bin or open and play. Pair them with some blocks and just let your child use their imagination. But yeah, this was a great buy. So I love these. So they are kind of like the Safari LTT tubes where they're labeled. So this is hard to see on there, but they do say rocket on those. This one says space shuttle. The astronauts say astronaut on the bottom. These two I cannot read. Um, it's too tiny of a print for me to actually read. Um, this one here said Skylab. And this one here said lunar rover so yeah that's pretty cool like i said these are perfect for a sensory bin or open end to play i had gotten this book on amazon and it's the constellation book and i was looking through it and different constellations and then i remember that we have this item which is these geo makers so i was thinking that nate could look at this book and take these items and try to make like a constellation like this by drawing the little balls to the sticks. So this is a really good set if you have one of these. If you don't have this book or the set, um, another good idea would be to look up constellations on Google or on YouTube. And then have your children make their own little constellations with 
marshmallows and toothpicks. That's another way you can do it. But yeah, I just wanted to share this little activity with you all too because I think Nate will have a lot of fun making his own little constellations. I also have this book to share with you all. So this is Who Was Neil Armstrong? And then this came from Indigo and it was $8 here in Canada. But yeah, I also have this little Go Fish game which came for Shoppers Drug Mart and there's cards for them that talk about Neil Armstrong as well. So we'll just be reading all the information about him and about his life, but this book is really nice too. And then I also have these little flashcards that we'll be going over and reading the information on them. So this one just says sky. This is the moon card. I've had these for a very long time. Uh, sun, stars, and earth. And on the back, there is like little uh, information and like questions you could ask. So, yeah, really cute little cards. This would be also great for copy work. You could lay out these on like your pocket chart and have your children copy the words or for older children you could uh, do like a spelling test and see if they could spell these words on their own or pair these cards with some letter tiles or like letter magnets and have them do it out that way and then again printing practice and uh, writing out these words on their own so i'm just going to include the pictures of my free printables thanks a lot for watching this video and i will talk to you in my next one bye for now